Hello, my name is Chelsea and I'm going to show you how to raise a bill using QuickBooks Online. To open the bill screen, click New and then in the second column, choose Bill. First, you will need to select your supplier. If your supplier is not already set up on QuickBooks, please see my video, How to Create Customers and Suppliers. So my bill is from Vodafone, so I'm going to choose that from the supplier list. If when the supply was set up, an address was input, this will appear in this box here, but for this one, I didn't. Next, I will select the terms of the purchase using this box here. So this needs to match the invoice that I have received from my supplier. If the payment was made at the time of purchase, I will choose due on receipt. But for my invoice, I get 30 days, so I'll choose net 30. I will then input the date per the invoice in the bill date box. So my bill was dated the 1st of March 2021, so I'll put that in there and the due date will update based on the term set. I will then copy the invoice number from my supplier bill to this bill number. So that's input in there. I will then choose the category that is most appropriate for the bill I've received. So for my Vodafone bill, I will choose telephone. I will then add a brief description. So in there, I will put that this is my February phone bill. And I will include the amount. So my bill is set to exclusive of tax. So the amount I will put in here will be the net amount. However, if you wanted to put the gross amount in here, from this drop down, you can choose inclusive of tax. My bill has 20% fat on it, so I'll choose that from the VAD drop down here. QuickBooks will then work out my total bill, which can be cross-checked against the bill I've received from my supplier. I would also recommend that you copy the description into the memo box in the bottom right hand corner. So I'll copy this from here and put it in here. As this is where the detail on most VAT reports is taken from. So by putting your description in there, your reports will be easier to review and understand. There is also the feature to upload an attachment, which will mean that a copy of the invoice will always be attached to the transaction within QuickBooks. So to attach an invoice, you can either drag and drop into this box here, or you can click and browse. So if I click in here, my Vodafone bill is saved to my desktop. So if I select that and open, it will attach into the bill. I can then save and close the bill if this is the last one I'm going to do. Or if I go into this little arrow here, I can save a new to open up a new blank bill to input some more. So if I save and close. If you have any queries or comments, do leave them below. If not, feel free to check out our other videos.